What's up everyone, this is CyberKnight8610 and today we're going to be opening up the brand new uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 Starter Deck 2016. This is the Japanese version of the Starter Deck and uh, yeah, we'll be getting this later on. I think even the, the card list and everything has been confirmed for us even in, you know, for the English release. And it has some pretty good reprints in it for being a Starter Deck. Usually Starter Decks, you don't really expect that many uh, cool reprints because, you know, it's for beginners, not so much like Structure Decks. But uh, yeah, it has some good reprints in it and some good new cards too. A lot of Performer Pal support as you would expect too. So yeah, here's the front of it and everything too. Show you guys the the back as well. If you guys can read Japanese, there's the card list. And what's really cool is you also get hippo tokens, which <laughs> is kind of funny. I, I kind of like those. I can't wait to get those. So yeah, let's go to open this up and uh, show you guys all the cards to get from this. Also, I got this from Jokura.com. Be sure to check that link in the description. It's where I get all of the uh, Japanese or OCG uh, stuff to open up because I open up anything new that comes out for Yu-Gi-Oh! whether it's in English or in Japanese. So, yeah, be sure to check them out. Also, of course, when this is out in English, I will do an opening of it as well. Let's see, is that everything? Yeah, making sure. So here is the, I believe, rule book for this. Yeah, <laughs> Japanese rule books. So it's everything you need. It's funny how these rule books are a little bit thicker every time, right? All the new ways of summoning. So here is the playmat. I believe it also has like some strategies and stuff on the other side. First off, here's the playmat side, which actually looks really awesome. I like that. Has the the new main monster on it, which is what's his name again? It's Perform Pal Slight Hand Magician. Is his name. So it looks pretty awesome. Then on the other side, like I said, has like strategies and different things too, which can uh, help you out, especially being a starter deck. This is something that's easier to recommend to a beginner. Although, you'll want to wait for the English version, obviously. It's a little tough to read Japanese if you don't know how. There we go. Kind of lay out the play mat so you guys can see it. And here are the cards. I like how they just have like a plastic sleeve for the Japanese version as well. <laughs> just a lot easier. You don't have to fight through all that plastic. Alright, so here's everything that you're going to get in this starter deck. First off, we have Performer Pal Slight Hand Magician. Like I said, just really cool looking card and pretty good effect and everything too. It's our first Ultra Air and you also get a second Ultra Air which is Performer Pal King Bear. I'm reading these off to the side too because I can't read Japanese obviously. We have uh, Performer Pal uh, uh, Momon Carpet. Then we also have Performer Pal Parrot Trio. And then after that we have uh, Performer Pal Long Phone Bull. And then for our parallel rares that you're also getting in this, you have a Performer Pal uh, Swin Cobra, which I didn't understand this one at first, but it, he's on a swing. So, uh, Konami, why the puns? You're awesome for the puns, actually. Uh, <laughs> actually, that's awesome. <laughs> Let's see, we also have a Performer Pal Teeter Totter Hopper, which I like this one. I like his face, you know, the, it just looks hilarious. Uh, we have uh, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, of course, on that you also get Beast King Barbaros, which is a pretty good reprint. Then another one of the newer cards is uh, Performer Pal uh, Dramatic Theater. And then we also have Perform Pal Showdown. And now, you know, just normal reprints and stuff. You're seeing a lot of different stuff that you has used in the anime. You're getting a lot of different pendulums, gorilla as well, a second donkey, a hippo, and everything too. You also get Arch Phoenix Centric, which is a really good reprint in this. I like that. And we got it recently in Premium Gold, but this is another really good reprint of it. So make it even easier to get. Warwolf and everything too in that. Uh, giant Rat. <laughs> it seems like almost... I wonder if every starter deck has Giant Rat. It seems like you, you see that a lot in starter decks. Good card though. Then we also have uh, Smile World, which is one of the cards, of course, member from the anime and everything too. I, I kind of like it just because it, it just looks so funny. But I believe it was only like in a uh, tournament pack or something for Japan, so it's a good reprint for them. Then of course for your Hippo Tokens, <laughs> you got to have that card. Mystical Space Typhoon, Book of Moon, Lightning Vortex, of course, too on that and everything. And then of course, you know, just kind of usual traps and spells really that are going to help with Perform Pals. Even Dream Shield, uh, Threatening Roar, those are pretty good. Dark Bribe, and some different stuff too. And Pendulum Reborn. And then of course, at the end, you gotta have these Hippo Tokens. This is the main reason to get it right here. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of like the Hippo Tokens. Some people hate like the Hippo cards and stuff that are in the anime, but I always think it's kind of funny. And uh, yeah, I'm glad to see that, you know, they're making some different tokens too, because I like the different token cards we get uh, here and there, like from Legendary Collections and Tins and everything too. So yep, there you go. That is the Star Deck opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Can't wait for an English release. Like I said, we already have release date and everything too, so looking forward to that. And as soon as it is released in English, I'll do another opening of it. So yep, just let me know what you guys think on the Star Deck. You think it's worth getting or not? For me, I think it's worth getting. I think this is really good. I mean, Starter Decks are usually, uh, you know, for beginners. And pretty much, you know, they're not really meant for people that have played 
you know, I know how to play and everything, but there are some pretty good reprints in this one too, so I can actually recommend it to both audiences. So yeah, just let me know what you guys think too and what you feel about that in the comments. As always, uh, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And uh, of course, subscribe for more openings. Like I said, anything new that comes out for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Whether it's in English or Japanese, I do openings on it. So be sure to subscribe if you want to stay updated and see all the cool products that come out for Yu-Gi-Oh! Again, as always, thank you guys for watching. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya! Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video, be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cyber Knight Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cyber Knight CCG for Card Fight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya!